Hello. Oh, hello there. Good afternoon. This is Martin calling from Payment Shield. All right. Hello. Hello there. And I believe somebody from Future Magic came round to examine the suite on Monday. Yes, they did, yes. Right. Just tell me again in your own words exactly what happened, please. Right, OK. I was straightening my hair. I placed my straighteners down on the arm of the sofa. And as far as I'm concerned, was, they were switched off. And I went to be out. And I came back now. They must have fell off the sofa. Off the arm of the chair, sorry. And they've just landed on the sofa. Now, I'm just lucky that the whole house isn't going on fire because I was out for about three hours and they've just left two brown marks on the sofa. The guy probably explained that in his report. He's saying in the report, which I've got in front of me just now, that he thinks that this has been intentional. I don't understand how he could decide that that's intentional. I, s I sat them down on the arm of the chair and they fell off. So I'm not understanding where he's coming from. I mean, there's no mention of that to me. No, well, he reports back to us. He wouldn't, he wouldn't say that to you. Do you know what I mean? But he never even asked me what happened. Well, he doesn't need to know. He can tell by the way that the burns are. I mean, the thing is that you phoned us before that with regards to a skylight problem as well. Yes. No. Now, the skylight is still... The wood is still up, sitting up in the skylight. It's not been fixed. Oh, but you said that you were prepared to, to bend the truth on that. I never said... When did I say I was prepared to bend the truth? Well, because you're not... Do you record your calls? Listen to my call back. I've never said I was prepared to bend any truth. You go and play back your recording of, of that phone call that I made, right? My words to him was, he said to me, what happened to your window? I said to him, I don't know. All I could say is there's been a sudden cold spell. And he came back and he said to me, you're not covered for frost. And I said, I never so said you, it was you frost. So cha you changed your story? It could have been the cold. I do not know what happened to that window. Well, it's what I said. Well, it could have been you or a member of your family. It's on the roof. Why would I go and smash a window of my own house? It's a skylight window. Well, he thinks that the two are interlinked. He feels that somebody, possibly your son, I don't know. My son's five. Well, what he says is that your son had thrown a, a stone through the skylight. It had gone through the skylight and hit the suite, landed on the suite, and you tried to cover this up by burning it. The skylight is up in the attic. My suite is downstairs. And it did come down the stairs. Could someone come out and check where my skylight is in relation to my suite? My skylight is up in the attic. Well, he knows he's drawn a diagram. He never even saw it. You can't get access to my back garden unless you go out. There's no way he could have saw my skylight. Mm. It's out the back of the house. Might it have been your husband? That did what? Why would we... Do it? I'm, I'm just what, the stone? struggling to get my head around this. What, the stone? Might your husband have thrown the stone? What, at the window? At the skylight, yeah. My husband is an executive manager in Edinburgh Royal Infirmary. Might it have been a cricket ball? A cricket ball? A cricket ball from where? I'm sorry, you are... This is just absolutely absurd. How could a skylight be linked to a suite? Well, it smashes the skylight and then, you know, goes... hits the suite. But the, the suite's downstairs. The skylight is in the attic. You have to come down a flight of stairs a closed door, but it, a hallway... But it's bouncing, it's bouncing. This is just the wind-up. <laughs> <laughs> so who is this? Oh, my God, this is real radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robin Galloway here, Jacqueline. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. He is so dead. <laughs> I'll leave you to sort him out. OK. Thank you very much. You've gone all quiet on me now. <laughs> I'm in shock. <laughs> Goodbye, Jacqueline. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. You know that job you didn't get at St Phillips? Don't let it get you down. Keep applying. Get off this sinking shit while you can. Go <laughs> off! Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>